In our series, Eye on Earth, we're looking at what may be the future of farming on a very changing planet. From 2001 to 2016, the U.S. lost 11 million acres of farmland, mostly to development. So that translates to one and a half acres every minute across the U.S. Only 19 percent of land is considered best for growing foods and crops. CBS News senior environmental correspondent, that's Ben Tracy, traveled to Kentucky to meet a pioneering young farmer who's also giving his Appalachian community an economic boost. We build big. This rectangle of steel and glass stretches for nearly half a mile. And just as you start to take it all in, you realize that's only the half of it. When we do something and we put our mind to it, we go massive. Jonathan Webb used to build solar energy projects for the government. It's like surfing coming down here. Now the 35-year-old is running one of the largest indoor farming operations in the world, growing row after row after row of tomatoes. This greenhouse is the size of 58 football fields, so big you can't see where it ends. Do you think of yourself as a farmer? Yeah, th this is farming. Calling it app harvest isn't just clever tech talk. It's located in Appalachia, just outside Moorhead, Kentucky. Everybody watch out for Central Appalachia. We're absolutely going to be one of the largest fruit and vegetable suppliers of the U.S. in the decades to come. Climate change is not only altering our weather patterns, but it's changing where and how we grow our food. A lot of our produce comes from California and Mexico, two places now hit with frequent and devastating droughts. Kentucky is getting wetter and has location on its side. We can get to 70% of the U.S. in a one-day drive, whereas right now you're importing uh, product from Mexico coming two weeks on a truck. App Harvest plans to build at least a dozen of these indoor grow facilities. They use rainwater collected on the massive roof and stored in this pond, the size of 70 Olympic swimming pools. Water is delivered to the plants in precise amounts so it isn't wasted. Once that rainwater is in here, it only leaves as a tomato. They can grow year round and all night when the greenhouse shows its more colorful side. Thanks to special grow lights that keep the 720,000 plants inside reaching for the sky. The company says farming this way uses 90% less water, no soil, and results in 30 times more yield per acre than a regular outdoor farm. So you may be thinking, well, that's great for tomatoes, but I'd like to eat more than just tomatoes. Well, they say they can do this for any sort of vine crop, including cucumbers, bell peppers, and berries. There are downsides. Building huge structures of steel and glass creates its own planet warming emissions, and it takes energy to run all those nighttime lights. The tomatoes also cost a bit more than the ones grown in Mexico. But reinventing farming on a changing planet is crucial because the United Nations says the world's farmers need to grow 60% more food by 2050 to feed the estimated 9.3 billion people that will be living on the planet. This is 30 years away. We're not talking like great grandkids need to figure this out. We're talking we need to figure this out. Webb has big backers and sitting on his board of directors is a legend the food world knows by just one name. And I was terrified, is Martha going to like this tomato? <laughs> so Martha Stewart, we got her a box. Martha calls, these are fabulous, they're wonderful. She posted them on Instagram, and that was, the, that was the moment we knew we had a winner. How are we doing? But for Webb, this Rock hits home. home. He's from central Appalachia, an area hit hard by the collapse of tobacco and coal, where one in three people live below the poverty line. You know, we shut down the coal mines, and no one said what's next. App Harvest has created more than 500 jobs at this one facility. The company has also given stock options to its employees. There were people in tears. People have never owned a car, never owned a house. At the top of the vines, we met up with Sam Smith, who used to harvest a much different crop, tobacco. When that came to a halt, so did the money. So. It's hard to find, you know, good, consistent work like this. You know, it's a, it's a blessing. You got it. Webb Rock believes roll, he man. and his orange army are building a new future for Appalachia. It's a runaway freight train. Now, now it's a matter how big is it going to be, how fast are we going to go. And that's saying something, given how big it already is. For CBS This Morning, Ben Tracy, Moorhead, Kentucky.
This Jonathan is Jonathan Webb. I'm this in a, awe. Yeah, this is all amazing. I had no I'm idea this awe. was going on. And it makes so much sense when you think about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but what a brain he has. Uh, yes. Oh, oh my incredible. gosh, I like him. So we got tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, and berries all growable in those kinds of things. And I like how Ben did the piece because I was wondering, is there anything more than tomatoes? And then he adds that. And I yeah. also like that yeah. Jonathan was worried about what Martha was going to say because if she didn't like it, she would say that too. I tell you what, I got my Martha Stewart grilling book out just the other day just because summer's coming and I yeah. wanted to refresh. And well, those, are, the, those are some good looking tomatoes. Yeah, they are. I was Martha thinking a lot about salad. He knows, yeah. Story, yeah. And Jonathan Webb, 35. I, I